fruit mousse is deliciously light and airy and is the base for so many wonderful desserts. I'll start off by making a really easy lime mousse. What I have here is half a package of cream cheese that's been softened to room temperature. So four ounces. I can add my sugar, half a cup. And I'll add about half the sugar at first. Once you start adding the sugar, it dissolves into the cream cheese and it starts to soften it up. I also add a little bit of sour cream, three tablespoons. Before I stir in the sour cream, I'll add some lime zest, about a teaspoon and a half. I'll add a teaspoon of vanilla. and then stir this in. So now it really is quite soft. I've already whipped my cream two thirds of a cup to a soft peak and I've kept it in the fridge while I prepare everything else. I'll add this in two additions. And when you're folding in cream into your mousse base, don't be afraid when you see it start to deflate a little bit, that's factored into the recipe. There we go. Now, the last addition, of course, the lime juice. I have a third of a cup. This is the style of mousse that's meant to be served in glasses. So not appropriate for a mousse cake or a tart filling, because it is rather soft. In fact, at this point, before it starts setting, it's even pourable. So you want to pull out four glasses, whatever style you wish, so long as you can fit a spoon nicely in it and pour in your mousse to fill them up. I did tell you this was an easy lime mousse. Look at this, before you know it, we've got a beautiful dessert here. Just give the glasses a little shake so that the mousse sits level in the glass. I do want to give these at least two hours in the fridge, then they're ready to serve. And here they are after they've had time to set. And of course, you can decorate them as you wish. A couple of berries. A little bit of fresh lime. There we go. Now, isn't that an easy dessert? A beautiful lime mousse. Mmm. I love the tartness, Ooh, but creaminess at the same time. That's what makes a fruit mousse so good.